What's up everyone tech cloud here and in this video I'm going to show you how you can uh, take HDR photos even if your uh, phone does not have the built-in HDR mode and this video is specifically for the Lumia devices because they support bracketing and if you take a regular shot as you can see this uh, particular scene if I expose for the window then the contents on the table they are not uh, that much visible and if I expose for the contents on the table then the window will be blown out and even some of the frame of the window is not visible check out that uh, green frame it has lost uh, into the light and uh, this is why we need HDR for such moments and uh, here is Nokia Lumia 1520 and if I take a regular shot just like that then it's not uh, gonna look good as I have explained but for that reasons Nokia has already included the bracketing and this is the exposure bracketing and uh, similar to any DSLR it is available there you can uh, take either three or five shots and you can also give the exposure range from plus minus one to plus minus three EV and uh, I have set actually to five shots and I have uh, put the exposure to plus minus uh, to EV so it's gonna take five shots here and uh, try to hold the phone as steady as you can and even if you messed up slightly like you can see I'm not holding it uh, very steady still the results will not be that bad so I have already taken the photos so I have transferred all these five photos on my computer as you can see here these are the photos and this is the plus two EV shot and uh, you can see the highlights are blown out and the window is not uh, properly visible and look at the curtain as well it is also looking like that it's on fire or something so although the contents on the table is looking good on the other hand if I look uh, the regular shot or uh, zero EV then uh, you can see the contents on the table are not that much visible so for that uh, now we need a processing on the laptop or uh, Mac or whatever you have and we need a software which can combine all these five shots into a single HDR. I'm going to use the Pro Matrix Pro for this uh, particular example. This is the paid software and if you don't have that one no problem there are uh, other softwares available and even the Photoshop can do that. If you are interested to know that how Photoshop will be able to do let me know I will make a video about that one. So I have actually load all five images and here there are options we can select uh, different options if it's a tripod shot turn on tripod handheld then turn on handheld and this one the reduce noise on underexposed shots only it's up to you uh, whether you want to turn it on and off it does not make uh, that much of a difference on phones on DSLRs it will make more difference and if you are a DSLR user you probably you ha already have uh, this software I'm a DSLR user so I have this software already with me and the software has uh, automatically aligned the all five photos and it has uh, already superimposed all these uh, five photos and give me this HDR photo and you can see it is very nicely lit and on the right hand side you can see I have all kind of effects available right now it's in the balance I can change it to any setting that I like and uh, if you want to add some special effects make it uh, like uh, more artistic or black and white or some weird colored uh, HDR you can do that as well that's why actually I prefer this uh, software instead of the Photoshop because I can uh, apply all these kind of effects whereas on Photoshop I have to align these images and uh, even the Photoshop can automatically align I have just have to uh, do it step by step first I have to align the images and then I have to merge those images as layers so that's uh, the HDR it's uh, ready and on the left hand side you can see there are actually some manual controls available you can change the strength you can uh, change the color saturation you can change the color temperature you can change the lighting effect 
and you can do all sort of uh, manual enhancements if you don't like the look of the HDR that is produced here you can tweak all these settings depending upon your mode I'm not going to go into the detail of uh, this setting the reason is because this particular tutorial is about the HDR only and if these settings are actually too cumbersome or they are new to you then forget about them the regular HDR will work fine for you and uh, don't worry about these settings. So once you have actually tweaked the image according to your uh, mood, just uh, click the apply button at the bottom and uh, it will actually merge all those five files right away and make a HDR image. And now you can uh, still tweak a uh, little bit. Like for example, the shadows, I want to drop a little bit because on the right hand side of my image, it's slightly noisy. So if I reduce the shadows by let's say minus two, then I can hide this noise on the right hand side. The reason why there is a noise is because it's too dark on this side and the camera is not able to capture the detail on that side. So minus two shadows, it's done. Now the HDR I can save as a JPEG file. Press the save final image and it will ask me about the file name and the destination. I will give it both and press the save button and it's gonna save the HDR. So the final HDR image is ready as you can see here and all the highlights are well controlled and the window frame is visible and the contents on the table is also visible. If I compare the HDR image which is on the right hand side and the regular shot on the left hand side you can see the highlights are blown up and the window frame is not fully visible and also the curtain is also blown out. Whereas if I compare the HDR shot which is on the left towards the uh, the right photo which is basically the regular photo which is exposed for the window and you can see the contents on the table is not uh, visible on the right shot whereas on the left HDR image is perfectly fine. So this is the comparison and this is how you build the HDR image. So guys I hope uh, that you have liked the video thanks for watching and subscribe for more videos like that take care and I'll see you later bye.